Henry Faselli once said, Ancient art was the tyrant of Egypt, the mistress of Greece, and the servant of Rome. With that in mind, four friends from Omaha, Nebraska, took a trip to Rome to explore Roman and That's Greek so art. That's so cool! On the first day of the trip, the group encountered an old man who course. handed them a brown paper bag of which they did not know the contents. <laughs> Yeah. Maddie, quite perplexed by the old man, found no harm in having a couple of the chips he gave her. Little did she know, yeah, sure. this was only the beginning. Random brown paper bag. Side effects may include drowsiness, nausea, headaches, exsanguination, random bleeding, death, ulcers, and turning into random Greek and Roman art. The Odyssey is an epic poem attributed to the ancient Greek poet Homer. It was approximately composed near the end of the 8th century BCE and is a sequel to the Iliad, another epic poem attributed to Homer. It is widely recognized as one of the greatest stories of all time and has been a strong influence on later European, especially Renaissance, literature. The poem focuses on the Greek hero Odysseus and his long journey home to Ithaca following the fall of Troy. His adventure is a 10-year journey that takes him all over the world as the displeased sea god Poseidon prevents him from reaching his home. Maybe I should do a bit of reading before I go to bed. Oh look, my favorite book, The Odyssey. Suddenly, ah! and to everyone's awe, Cheyenne actually transported into the book, The Odyssey and she herself became Odysseus. Odysseus, disguised as an old man, threw off his beard and cloak and shot an arrow in a perfect bullseye. Don't be foolish. Who are you, old man? Then Odysseus proceeded to wreak havoc on the suitors in a burst of vengeance. Odysseus, I can't even with you right now. That's because I have never had an eye. And that's the end of my epic adventure. After the story had ended, Cheyenne returned to her bedroom and threw the book across the room in fear. After last night's scare with Cheyenne, Maddie decided she would stay in and not go out touring. But as she picked up the frisbee, Again, strange things occur. Hey guys, you want to play frisbee? Yeah, sure. Pass. Oh, Maddie, what the heck? Throw the frisbee. What, what the heck's going on? Are you hungry? No. After hours of being stuck, Maddie had no idea how she was going to unfreeze herself. She decided that the best option was to fulfill the destiny of the Roman statue and to complete the discus pass. Maddie, you're on. Discobobulus, or the discus thrower, was a recreation of a Greek sculpture by Myron. Myron was an Athenian man at the beginning of the classical era. It was originally made out of bronze. Discus was a popular sport, especially in the Olympics, which originated in ancient Greece. Discus was part of the pentathon, which was an Olympic sport that included running, jumping, discus, wrestling, and boxing. On day three, the strange events continued to occur. Clary turned into the Colosseum? Now commencing the 50th Olympic Games, taking place at the Colosseum, a fight to the death between the gladiator and the lion. Clary unfroze and was no longer the Colosseum. The Colosseum is a massive stone amphitheater built around AD 70 to 72 in Rome, Italy. This grand sculpture measures 620 feet by 513 feet. Because it was the largest structure in Rome at the time, a viewer can inference the significance of entertainment and glory in Roman culture. Even though the Colosseum has lived through multiple earthquakes, thousands of storms, and millions of events packed with people, the Colosseum still stands today. On the final day of their trip, Kate decided to get out for some fresh air and take a walk when she came across a wonderful flower. What a beautiful woman! <laughs> My niece, who I kidnapped at a young age, Persephone, and I was going to run away with you because I thought you were very beautiful, and I wanted us to get married, have children, and I was going to trick you into eating some fruit in the underworld, 
Well, you'll have to stay with me forever. But I'm not Persephone. I'm Kate. Oh. <laughs> they often created art depicting their different gods and goddesses, and by creating this art, they were able to visually understand it better. One famous work of art is the Tomb of Persephone. It was uncovered in 2014 by archaeologists in a royal cemetery in Virginia, Greece. Although it is not known who the artist is, the mosaic obviously depicts the abduction of Persephone. This is the last time we mess with Greek and Roman culture. A lot of the things that happened back then are completely incompatible now. The tourists came to a realization that their culture wasn't compatible with ancient Greek and Roman culture. Nonetheless, they learned a lot about very important pieces of art. Luckily, the tourists knew they had a sustainable way to get rid of the brown paper bag right here in Omaha.